Hello, and welcome to Blur's Craft. This is my fourth build for my Road to Mordheim table I'm building. It will be a 4x4 table for 28mm skirmish games. I'm building it for the New England Mordheim Open 2024. That's put on by underthedice.bigcartel.com You can also check out the In Rust We Trust Discord server. It's a super awesome community. I highly recommend it. I will probably recommend it on every one of these videos. In that community, I was exposed to a competition called Smash Bash, where they give you a simple descriptor and you ba bash together a model, kit bash a model to that descriptor. And this year's descriptor was Brackish Birth. And it gave me the idea of a tainted well or a well under some sort of sorcery or chaos warp or uh, maybe verdant regrowth. So I went down to the shop, I started messing around with stuff, and I grabbed this little plinth, which is like the bottom of a lamp. So always be on the lookout for things that are inspiring uh, when you're building terrain. It's one of the things that I do. Like, I'm notorious for stopping and picking things out of garbage just because they look like something or they inspire me in some way, in some shape. It isn't really a good habit to have because you end up with a bunch of piles of what is not, you know, everyone else considers garbage. But you can produce some really cool terrain with it. And it's free. So you're kind of upcycling in a way. And so... I, I don't know. I'm just throwing a little tip in there, I guess. Um, with this build, I really wanted to uh, add more to what a well would be on uh, a skirmish table. I, every time I've seen one, they're always like a pretty small thing that only blocks a little bit of line of sight. Um, and I want, all right, because I'm doing them on a one foot by one foot squares, it just seemed like it wasn't going to take up enough space. So that's part of the reason I grabbed the plinth. And then when I was thinking about the idea, I really wanted to, to, uh, have that birth idea, that life idea. So I decided that I, after building all the rafters on there, I decided that I wanted some massive vines uh, ripping the top of it off. So I ended up just snapping it off. I also um, forgot to detail the inside of it, which was bothering me. So I it was very helpful snapping the top of it off because I was then able to work on it a lot, a lot easier than having that uh, frame on the top. And that could be one of the problems with building organically. Sometimes it will seem like you're taking two steps back for every step forward you take. So I wouldn't suggest, if you're new to it, I wouldn't suggest building so organically, I would say, being heavier on your concept sketches. Um, I knew that this was going to be a very open piece, because a well on a one foot one by one foot board is, that's just what's going to happen. It's not going to take up as much space as, say, one of the bigger buildings that I've built. So I felt like the best way to impart the same kind of detail as the other buildings that I've built was to lean heavily on flagstone and cobblestone design. So I experimented quite a bit with how I wanted to get the design down. Uh, you can see